welcome back to another video in the state series and the, for this episode of the series we're going to take a break from Serie A and we're going to come back to the Premier League as I have realised that I didn't make any state review for Tottenham I've made a video on Arsenal, Chelsea, um, City and Liverpool but I, I am yet to make a video an updated video on Tottenham and Manchester United. So I want to finish that. Let's finish the Premier League top six. Um, I've been to England. Um, I've been to France, um, Portugal and Italy. And before we go into the other countries like Germany, let's just close each series first. Welcome back to the JVM Football channel, where you can find game analysis, football history, individual performances, top tens, etc. If you are interested and would like more football content like this, please subscribe to the channel. So let's go over my predictions first in typical state fashion series. And although I, have, I didn't make any predictions for all the other leagues, the Premier League is one of the leagues which I did make a prediction for. And in the case of Tottenham, I predicted that in the best case scenario, Tottenham would finish fifth. And in the worst case scenario, they would finish either seventh or sixth. I said that in the best case scenario for Tottenham, they would finish fifth because I generally did not believe that Tottenham would be getting anywhere near the top four. Even if something did happen, for example, them signing Conte, which is which was something quite big. And even if something else was to happen, like them having a gap of games against easier opponents, which they could capitalize on something else, which has also happened, Tottenham would still, I didn't really see them as a team that would be able to take those chances and capitalize on them. Um, you take, for example, and these are two uh, these are two scenarios which I've just highlighted that have happened this season with, with them getting Conte, one of the best managers in the league and someone who I thought should have gone to United and who, who would have had a great impact on United. And with the whole COVID situation, you know, um, Tottenham managed to get, you know, they they have a few games where they could where if they win these games they have they're gonna be in the top four but they they've been messing up those games so apart from the game against City the other two games Tottenham have played they've lost this is if you're gonna get to the top four you can't be losing those easy games so that's 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 why I said in the best case scenario I didn't see Tottenham even getting into the top four I said they could finish fifth. And even right now, finishing fifth for Tottenham can prove to be quite a task because United and Arsenal are both fighting for top four. If Tottenham don't win their next two games, they can say goodbye to this top four race, at least for the meantime. And even for fifth place, I mean, even for sixth place, which I said it was going to be in the case scenario, they, they still need to go over West Ham and Wolves. This fight between third and eighth right now is being is very interesting in the Premier League. Is in the Premier League, and if Tottenham play their hands right, I believe that they can finish in the, in the top four. At the moment, looking at the, at the table, you, you could say that if Tottenham play their cards right, they can finish the top four, which is something even better than what I predicted. Now, looking at their worst case scenario, um, if Tottenham don't pattern up, if they don't begin to win these games, these must win games, then they will suffer. And the worst case scenario that I said is going to be even worse. So let's go over what have Tottenham done well this season and looking at like the, the different leagues that they're in, I'll say that the only thing Tottenham have done well this season is to sign Conte. They are um, underperforming in every competition they're in, mainly the Premier League and Conference League. Which is a shame already. Being in the Conference League alone is a, is an L. But if so, in those two cases, I don't really see them. You know, having had done something well per se. So I went with Conte. With Conte, that's the one thing they've done well. What has gone wrong for Tottenham, Tottenham so far this season? Well, pretty much everything else that doesn't have to do with with Conte. And again, I need to to slow down here because not everything has been completely bad. For example, they still have two games in hand in the league. And if they win their two games in hand, they're going to go to 44 
Yeah, 44 points. Which is ju- which is just two points behind United, who are in fourth place. And, yeah. Th- so, not everything has been going on completely wrong. But for a team that's in eighth place right now in the league, it's not it's not looking good. Another thing is how Tottenham have completely underperformed in the Conference League. The conf- First of all, the Conference League, in my opinion, is just a joke. It's just a way for... Wherefore to make more money, you know, but that's another story. For them to be third in their group in the Conference League, there are no words. <laughs> there are no words at all. It's just bad, and there's something that has been, that has gone wrong this time for this season. Another thing which has gone wrong is the handling of the hurricane situation, and here I can't really blame Tottenham too much, because. Harry Kane is their best player and has been for the past few seasons, especially looking at the type of season he had last season, winning best scorer and most assists. So they they couldn't just let Harry Kane go. Um, if if City weren't willing to pay the right part, the right price, which was always going to be overpriced anyways, regardless of how good Harry Kane was. They they didn't really have much control over that, but yeah. If you're looking at the things that have gone wrong for Tottenham, then this has been definitely one of the things that has gone wrong. Because Kane's productivity so far this season has been poor. He scored, what, seven goals in the league so far this season in 20 games? This is not typical Harry Kane, and it has hurt the team. And you could point at, perhaps, this is one of the reasons why they have performed so bad in the league. So these are the three things I would highlight as going not too well for Tottenham underperforming in the conference league not doing that well in the league and Harry Kane not being the typical Harry Kane that we, that Tottenham get I usually finish these Tate reviews um, with top 3 performers but I'm not going to do that in this video because I don't really see a top 3 performers for Tottenham even the guys, the go to guys you'd look at in Kane and Son they're having poor to average seasons who else are you going to look at? Look at Sanchez, Hoiberg. I mean, I'm skipping this part in this video. Thank you very much for watching the video until the end. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more game analysis, football history, individual performances, top 10s, etc. This is the beginning of something special and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed and helped me to grow this channel.